Hi students, this is Professor Schimmold and what I'd like to show you today is how to make an air-dried heat-fixed smear which is the beginning step for most, not all, but most of the staining techniques that we're going to learn later on this semester. Now the first step is always going to be the same and that is um, you will um, get a couple of um, microscope slides and even though they're new, you're just taking them right out of the box brand new, uh, the manufacturer puts some kind of a coating on the slide so that they don't all stick together in the box. And so the first thing you need to do is wash that off thoroughly. You don't need gloves for this part. Here's what you do. Get the slide wet, add a little bit of the uh, cleanser that you will find at your work area. And you can just use your fingers for this. Just give the slide a really good scrub. I am working it pretty hard here. So scrub, scrub, want to get all of that oily film off of there. And then I will rinse the slide in the sink. And then I just need uh, a bit of paper toweling. And I'm gonna dry that thing off. Do a good job here and it's all ready to go. Uh, so I will uh, pick this up with a demonstration on how to actually make the air dried heat fixed smear. Be back in a minute. Hi, welcome back. Now I'm going to show you how to make an air dried heat fixed smear. So this is the slide I scrubbed a couple of minutes ago and I've got one here that I did not clean so we can see um, what happens when I put water on there and I try to spread the material out. You'll see that there is a, um, a frosted area at one end of the slide. That's for you to label it. I have found pencil works best for this and this labeling is really just for your convenience so that you can find the slide later on, for example, when it's on, this is called a slide dryer. And so I've put my initials on there, LS, and the organism I'm working with is uh, Bacillus megatarium. <coughs> Excuse me. So I wrote B meg on that frosted area. And you always want to make the smear on the same side um, as the frosted area. That way you're not going to get confused later about, you know, which, gee, I wonder which side of the slide I put my smear on. So I'm going to start by using um, this nifty little pipette to add a couple of drops of water to each slide. I've got a pretty good puddle there. Um, then I will flame my inoculating loop, pick up my test organism, going to aseptically remove a little bit of it. Don't need a lot. And then I'm going to recap it, really. Then I'm going to use my loop to spread the material out. And I want it to really cover pretty much the entire surface of the slide. And I've got to be honest with you, I think I've used a little bit too much uh, of the organism, so I'm going to add another couple of drops of water just to dilute it a bit. Okay, so I'm going to spread it out again. I think this is going to be better. And I have covered the entire surface of the slide, everything except the frosted area. Okay, flame my loop again, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this slide on this slide dryer and it needs to air dry completely. Now let's go ahead and see what happens um, with the slide that I didn't uh, scrub down. So I'm going to, even though I'm using the same organism, I need to go through the same uh, aseptic technique steps again. I'm going to try to remove a little less of the organism this time. Really easy to take too much off. All right, a little bit. And I'm ready to go ahead and try to mix it in. And what's happening here, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but I'm having some trouble getting the material to spread out. Um, and again, that's because of that, um, that oily film. So I'm going to just go ahead and flame my loop and I'm going to put this one aside for disposal. All right, so I'm, uh, it's probably going to take a good five minutes or longer for this to air dry completely. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes to finish this up. Thanks.
Okay, here we go. Uh, now I have um, completely air dried my slides and I made a few others while you were gone or while I was gone uh, just to show you the appropriate thickness. You don't want the smear to be too thick, meaning you've used too much organism. If you do use too much organism, when we get into techniques like gram staining where we need to decolorize, um, you are going to have a hard time getting accurate results. So this slide, slide number one, that's the one that I made uh, when you were watching before and way too much organism on this. Now I did a good job of spreading it out and, uh, and it's nice and uniform and by that I mean there aren't really any thick or thin areas but too much bug on slide number one. Slide number two, I used a little bit less organism. I'm getting there, but still a bit too thick. Slide number three, pretty good. Um, we're, but I do have um, uh, a little, uh, a bit of a thicker area in the center of the slide. Slide number four is the best one. So I, I mean, I barely put any organism on the slide and I used quite a bit of water and it didn't take very long to dry. Okay, what I'm going to do now is heat fix these slides, and you do that by picking them up one at a time with a clothespin. You want the smear to be on the top, and I'm just going to pass it through the flame twice, pretty quickly, like this. One, two, all right, let me go down the line and do the rest of them. And there are two reasons why we heat fix, and one reason is it just helps the material adhere uh, to the slide a little more efficiently and the second reason is the heat fixing is going to inactivate enzymes in the cell and prevent the morphology from changing okay so here we go heat fix okay these slides are ready to stain and i will uh, show you how to do that in the next segment thanks Okay, students, I've got my um, air-dried heat fix smears ready to stain. Gonna put my uh, very stylish protective eye gear on. And what I'm gonna do uh, for this technique, this is just a simple stain. Just staining the cells to provide contrast to make it easier to visualize them when we uh, get ready to put these slides on the microscope. I'm going to cover the slides with, this is methylene blue and I'm going to leave the methylene blue on here for about a minute. So I need to be a little patient. I will try to fast forward this part of the video uh, when I edit it, but we'll see what happens. All right, so the stain has been on the slides for a minute. What I'm gonna do now is turn the water on kind of carefully and I'm gonna pick the slides up with my clothespin one at a time let this, uh, the stain drain off the slide and give them a quick rinse. Now, I'm most certainly not trying to rinse everything off of the slide, just the excess stain. And then I will place the slides in my bibulous paper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assembly line it here. All right, just gentle rinse. front and back, get all those slides in there. And, and I'm just gonna gently blot them. I don't wanna press too hard or I'm going to break the slide. And I don't wanna rub from side to side or I'm gonna rub the smear right off onto the bibulous paper. Okay, now they may not be completely dry at this point. So I'll just get me a little piece of paper toweling here and lay them down. If you want to at this point, you could uh, put them back on the slide dryer for a couple of minutes. Uh, once they've completely dried, then we're ready to look at them uh, with the microscope. So I'm gonna break again and we'll be back in a couple of minutes to uh, take a look at the results of our staining efforts. Okay, let's take a look at my results here after staining. Uh, slide number one, way too much material on it. The smear is 
too thick, uh, you, you might think of uh, sardines in a can. We're going to have layer after layer of cells um, stacked upon each other, and so it's going to be difficult to make out individual cells. Uh, slide number two, still too much material on there. By the time I get to slide three, we're looking pretty good. I think that's going to be a great slide. And then slide number four, you're thinking there's nothing on that one, but I'll bet you there is. So I will uh, take a look at these with a microscope in a bit, and um, if I have time, I will upload photos. All right, guys, thanks.